the Army Special Operations Soldiers performing for you today, wish to dedicate this show to our fellow brothers and sisters in harm's way. The brave men and women who fight and service on point so that we may all live freely today. Oh my god! Seven people perished. And as I put that all good shoots, one, two, three, four, five, six. Looking great. As jumpers come out of canopy, they all face a unique situation. A traffic jam in the sky. Each jumper must gain vertical separation to allow the individual approaches to the target area. They accomplish this by pulling down on the front part of the parachute called the A line, causing it to spiral its speeds in excess of 60 miles an hour. The parachutes used by the Black Daggers are actually flexible weight gliders. They are constructed of lightweight ripstop nylon and have an inherent forward airspeed of over 20 miles per hour. To turn left, the jumper pulls on the left steering line. To turn right, the jumper pulls down to the right steering line. And proudly displaying the Delaware State flag, let's give a big holler to our first jumper as he arrives on target. He can hear you up there. Now watch as he controls. As he gets closer oh, yeah, down, he'll pull down on both control lines. Yeah. The parachute stalls out. And a nice touchdown right on target. <laughs> Our second jumper ready to touch down again. Watch as he controls his flight. Again, control the control lines. Left and right. And then once again, as he gets close to the ground, he'll pull down on both control cables. The parachute stalls out. And Another nice touchdown. And a unique treat this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, as we have the British jumping with us today. A British Army Red Devil with over 1,500 jumps is Corporal Steve Hanley. With over 500 jumps, Sergeant First Class Luke Whittington from Eagle, Idaho, representing the 75th Ranger Regiment. A Special Forces Green Beret soldier representing the 10th group with 290 jumps from each of New Jersey Sergeant First Class Mike Moore. A National Guard Special Forces soldier from Jackson, Mississippi and representing the 20th group with 570 jumps is Sergeant First Class Jerry Germany proudly displaying the USA SOC flag. Our second Red Devil, with over 2,000 jumps, is Sergeant Dean Walton. And you'll see a couple of our jumpers doing some relative canopy work high overhead. As they have locked together what's called the biplane. One jumper actually literally standing on the shoulders of the other. As they work their way down towards the ground, this is called relative canopy work. And now we've got two jumpers coming straight down as you see them locking legs together. The air of the uh, parachute is actually pointing straight down towards the ground and you can see how quickly they build up speed as they come down. And at the right point there is the separation. Now once again, the jumpers will work on the control lines and get a good separation between them and head towards the target landing, which is right out here at Show Center. Our second Red Devil, with over 2,000 jumps, is Sergeant Dean Walton. He's flying the British flag. And lastly, a special forces officer representing the first group with over 650 jumps from Dallas, Texas, is Chief Warrant Officer Christopher Wilkerson. He's flying the American flag. And a great target lighting for both of our jumpers right here at Show Center.
There's a beautiful sight because our jumpers are still in the biplane formation. Great to have members of the Red Devil team with us this weekend. This is the first time since 2000 that the British Army Red Devils have performed a demonstration here in the United States with another team. They are the British Parachute Regiment's Parachute Display Team, the Red Devils, are regularly serving paratroopers from the 4th Battalion of the Parachute Regiment who have volunteered to serve on the display team. Boy, if you're not getting a picture of this, you're missing out. That's a beautiful sight. Two jumpers still locked together in the mine plane. You can see the jumper is literally sitting on top of the parachute of the uh, Red Devil team member right underneath you. Probably just bringing the American and British flags. Sergeant Dean Walton is flying the British flag. And Christopher Wilkerson is playing the American flag. Let's give a big round of applause as they approach the ground, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! Now there's a great sight. Right here at Thunder Over Dover as members of your United States Army Special Forces and the British Red Devils combine together for a great demonstration. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for your Red Daggers.